Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, Allah's peace and blessings be upon the Holy Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, and his immaculate progeny. Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Q&A on Mahdi Zaman Mahdawiyah from Vilayat TV. It's another Friday and another day to await for the last Saviour, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. In this series of um, shows concerning Mahdawiyyah or Mahdism, we are trying to ask some questions from Islamic scholars to know what Imam Mahdi is, about different questions concerning the personality and existence and whole existence of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. In our previous sessions, we have been talking about the birth of Imam Mahdi and his parents, his uh, lineage to the Imams and Prophets before himself. Uh, from both sides, I mean. But next, we talk about the place that he lives and where is Imam alayhi salam. Today, we want to talk about the Imama of Imam. We want to say when from his Imama started. Um, this question, inshallah, will be answered by Sheikh Zayd al-Salami, Islamic speaker. But before everything, I'd like to say salam to Sheikh. Well, and welcome him to the show. Thank you very much. And Sheikh, please tell us more <coughs> about the this important issue. When did the Imam of Imam Mahdi salam, start? Um, did it start right after his father? Or, please tell us in detail when sure. did it start exactly? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So um, we know that as Shia Muslims, we believe that uh, Imama is something God-given. It is not something man chosen. It's not chosen by any individual. Uh, even the Holy Prophet himself did not have the choice of who the successor will be. And the Imams themselves did not have a choice of who their next successor will be. It wasn't the case where the elder son becomes uh, the Imam because we have numerous cases mm -hmm. in the lineage of our Imams where the elder son was not mm -hmm. the Imam. And so uh, in principle we believe on a theological level that uh, imam, the Imam is chosen by God and God only. Now what are the descriptions that the Imam needs to have? This is of course a very uh, long extensive topic. One of them is Asma, infallibility. Mm -hmm where the Imam needs to be infallible and from birth, similar to prophets. With Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten in his reappearance, um, and based on the surrounding uh, situation that he was born into with the persecution of the Abbasi uh, tyrants and prior to them, you know, the um, Bani Umayyah rulers, they uh, did not unfortunately they did not uh, find ways of them compromising with Imetu uh, Ahlul Bayt and they always made sure that they eliminated this threat and the very presence of an Imam was a threat and this of course there is no exemption uh, similar to the rest of the Imams Imam Hassan al-Askari was also martyred mm -hmm. um, on the 8th of uh, Rabi'ul Awwal, mm -hmm. uh, he was martyred and this occurred in the year 260 after Hijrah. When Imam al-Askari uh, was martyred, of course, he had foretold, similar to the other Imams, that the next Imam will be um, this particular person from his lineage mm -hmm. and he had mentioned that Imam al-Mahdi was going to be the next Imam. Now this means that Imam al-Mahdi, this means that the Mahdi was only five years old when his father passed away and of course this brings about another very important question how can, can the Imam in this age become Imam? In this age, you know, it, uh, is this a theological discussion? You know, can we have a leader who is non-baligh? You know, these are, this, this is something, you know, that we really need to yeah, uh, this look into I think as well. Just to answer this question before I ask you to elaborate on it, I think we can find it even in previous Imams as well. So that's why, inshallah, I want you to, inshallah, answer this question after a very short break, Sheikh. 
please uh, stay tuned. We'll be back in a few seconds. We have just a very short break. After that, we'll be here with the answer. Thank you. Welcome back, dear brothers and sisters, to question and answers on Mahdism or Mahdawiya from Belayat TV. Um, in this series of shows, we are trying to talk about different doubts concerning the Mahdawiya, Imam Mahdi alayhi and different issues about him concerning the Imamat of Imam. In this very session, we are trying to talk about the Imamat of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Sheikh Zayd al-Salami said that Imam was about to be appointed as Imam while he was five years old. So we are listening to the rest of this uh, answer to see how can a young Imam, a young person as ages, let's say, that five years old can become an Imam. Sheikh, is it possible? Well, you eloquently just mentioned that uh, we do have previous cases. Yeah. You know, even in the Holy Quran, um, it mentions the story of Nabiullah Yahya alayhi salam. Ya Yahya khud al kitab, and then Allah subhanahu wa taala says, Wa atainahu al hukma sabiya. He was young. He was a, he was very young. Uh, non balig sabi means non 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 balig, and then we have. Um, the story of Nabiullah Isa, who was not that. only non balig but still was an infant in his cot. Yeah. So, uh, Prophet Isa, السلام, who um, was still in the very few early stages of his birth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed him as a Nabi he himself said wa waja'alani Nabiya as for Nabiullah um, Yahya Nabiullah Yahya it says wa atainahu al hukma sabiya hukm here means authority that we appointed him as an authority at a young age um, uh, with Jesus, peace be upon him, قَالَ inni Abdullah, I am the servant of God, and God has appointed me as a prophet. This is in respect to the Holy Qur'an, because again, coming back to that uh, principle, that the Imams, the Prophets are infallible, they're ma'sumin, they're not similar to normal human beings where they go through stages of intellectual development. The Imam and the Prophet is born with a complete, perfect intellect. And they're also connected with um, divine revelation from Almighty God as well that gives them that immunity from making any uh, kind of flaws or errors or mistakes for us to be worried about mm. because they're a non bailer that means they might make a mistake. That's, yeah. of course, never going to be the case. As far as our Imams um, are concerned, Imam Muhammad al-Jawad became an Imam at the age of six. Mm -hmm. Imam Ali, al which who's uh, Imam al-Mahdi's great-grandfather. Yeah. Uh, Imam al Ali al-Hadi, who uh, is our 10th Imam. He uh, received the crown of Imama at the age of eight as well, um, which obviously meant that he was also non balig And of course, in the case of Al Mahdi. Um, so that very day of uh, he, his inauguration of Imama is a very important day, uh, the ninth of Rabi'ul Awwal, a very blessed day a day which we need to uh, celebrate 
because it is a time where we uh, have that hope of mm. him uh, reappearing very, very soon to rid mm. this world of tyranny. So that's why there, there are certain recommended things to do, like mm. doing dua, distributing food. So principally, uh, being too young, it doesn't have anything to do with being uh, this person is able to become Imam or not, because based on these Quranic uh, witnesses that you have brought us, and also the examples that we have seen in the Imams, in Imam in Hadi imams. and Imam Jawad Ali, salam, that so being too young or I mean, in any age of, uh, let's say, it, there is a possibility of being Imam. So his Imam started right after his Holy Father. That's right. Thank you very much, Sheikh. Inshallah, we shall cover this topic of uh, the 9th of Rabbil Awal and to see what are the things that we have to do and the recommended issues. And many thanks to you, the respected viewers. Uh, if you have any questions concerning the Mahdism, any doubts, any uh, suggestions concerning Mahdism, if you need to be posed in this show, please contact us through the following avenues and channels that you can see in this uh, screen. We'll be more than happy to find your questions and your doubts and Inshallah, Sheikh will be ready to answer the questions. Uh, I'd like to invite you to join us again next Friday with another show on Mahdawiyah and different questions concerning the personality and existence of Imam Mahdi alayhi uh, salam. Once again, I'd like to thank you all. I live in Allah's protection. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.